Debbie Dowie should be getting used to cutting ribbons. It's just the latest hospital to benefit from her charity. It's a great feeling coming into this suite today. Um, we have raised over £300,000 in the last two and a half years. All of the money has been spent in NHS hospitals in the North West. And it's just great to know that if there is that gap, we are definitely plugging it. Debbie launched Boot Out Breast Cancer after being diagnosed herself four years ago. Since then, her charities raised funds to buy the very latest diagnostic equipment, with Wigan the latest recipients. I know myself it's all about diagnosis, and early diagnosis is key to survival. So for me, actually buying the latest state-of-the-art equipment will hopefully affect women you know, and men and hopefully be diagnosed with that early, that early diagnosis of cancer and hopefully be cured. These machines will enable patients to be diagnosed quicker and easier. When they come for a biopsy, the biopsy will be faster. The breast tissue sampled uh, is more accurate in diagnosing breast cancer. And if we diagnose breast cancer quickly, it saves lives. This equipment's been dedicated to Debbie's friend Kay, who lost her fight with breast cancer last year. A pharmacist here at the hospital, her family were here to see the unit opened. Just hearing what, how it will help and the positive uh, outcome it will bring for many patients locally is, is something really, um, you know, really good for us to sort of take from uh, what's happened. This is a phenomenal fundraising effort. Around £90,000 has been raised. You know, it's a great um, achievement, and I'm just really pleased to see it benefiting uh, patients here in Wigan. You know, sometimes the big names in the NHS, the, the Christie's, the Great Ormond Streets, you know, kind of get a lot of um, lot of attention. But I'm really pleased to see uh, Boot Out Breast Cancer bringing this uh, this equipment here to Wigan. With the unit now open, the hope is many lives can be saved thanks to the generosity of the community. Mel Barham, ITV News, Wigan.